Hello dear colleagues, I hope you all are fine and I hope everything great for you. In this video, I'm going to talk about seismic gusset plate and what would be the shape of seismic gusset plate. You know, uh, as I said in the past video, the shape of gusset plate will not be rectangular or square. You see, and would be something similar to trapezoid. Okay, and here I want to show that, you know, and prove it. As you can see, there is here a column, you know, and a beam that is designed in ETAPS or SAP. And these are the X line. Okay. And these are the, uh, and these are, these two are the wealth of gusset plate to beam and column. And uh, these are not equal. And that is one of the reasons that uh, this shape will not be square or rectangular. Okay, uh, and I'm going to show that here. You know, first of all, we have to draw the axle of brace that is supposed to be a UNP here. Okay, and I'm going to show that line. And I'm going to draw that. <clears throat> okay, and let me make it dashed line. Okay, and after that, we have to draw two lines perpendicular to this line one and another and here the seismic codes say that we have to choose the uh, line that is more adjacent to brace you know as you know brace will be executed here somewhere here okay you know and uh, this will be our fault line what is our fault line? The fault line is line that the brace will buckle out uh, through that line, you know? And uh, this is not the end. I have to move two times the depth of uh, gusset here, away from here, you know? I mean, uh, the depth would be, for example, two centimeters, one centimeter, and uh, here two times one centimeter I'm gonna keep that slope you know this is our brace line now okay and I don't need these two line here let me remove it okay now it's time to uh, draw the welt of brace to gusset plate you know I'm going to show this for example our brace here is UNP 14 you know and I cannot show the weld here and the line of weld and uh, same UNP will be equal here in this video for example 7 centimeters from this line and that slope is okay uh, let me mirror it. I apologize. Okay. I mirrored it. Now, for executing this weld, uh, I need, for example, two centimeters space to, exe to execute that weld. Uh, and I'm going to here draw that space here, you know. It's one inch, 2.5 centimeters. Okay, uh, let me copy that. You know, our job is about to done. And the uh, uh, finishing thing that I'm going to do here is that to I connect this point to the end of this weld and this point to the end of this weld. You know, I don't and I don't need this and this. And this is our brace here. And I am going to uh, continue this point. You know. 
let me continue this point uh you know it's a bit hard to keep that slope okay but actually it's acceptable for me okay and let me hatch here now now i draw a seismic gusset plate as you can see you know and i proved that it couldn't be a rectangular or square and that would be something similar or adjacent to trapezoid and we call it a seismic gusset plate you know uh, now I uh, hope that you all enjoy my video and if you like the video please subscribe this channel to motivate me to create more videos for you Thank you everybody. Thank you very much